welcome to another video. I am Debbie. Today I have a different type of unboxing. This actually was sent to me from Tahito and they reached out and asked me if I would like to review this. This is a video conference light and you may have recognized the name Tahito. They actually sent out a couple of light pads for me to actually review and I will try to put that at the top of the eye if you're interested in that. I do like their light pads and so I thought that I would try this one. This works on your computer as well as on your phone and this is really good if you have Zoom meetings or WebEx meetings perhaps and you would like to have a little more light. That's going to be directed on you, um, your subject, or just you know your computer. And so I thought that I would try this on my phone and see how that works. And I may also try it on a WebEx call that I'm going to have shortly. So this did come from Amazon. That's where um, they sell their items. I will link the information below in the description if you are interested. This also comes with a USB adapter. So I'm just gonna take the plastic off of here. And then going to grab the cord here. And I'm not sure on this if it's going to reach where I am. But I do have a cord that I can plug this into. And so I'll also do that. And then I want to show you, and figure out where this goes on here. I want to show you on this, you can have different brightness on here. And you can also level it. So you would put it the opposite direction on the phone here. So it would be hooked. There is a little clip here. You'd clip on the on your phone or on your computer. And I'm gonna show you on my computer as well what it looks like. This is how it's set up on my computer. I don't have a USB on my computer, so I do have it plugged into a wall unit, but you would turn it on from the back side here, and there's a couple of buttons. You just hold it down for a couple of seconds. So you can see how bright that that is. And then you can you know move it around. I don't want to get in camera here. And there's also on the back side here, you can have it going higher or lower. So it can get, that's extremely bright. It can get very bright. Let me turn that down. I can't see since I'm on the back of it. That's a little better. So now I'm going to put that on my, on my phone and see if that will show up any better when I'm looking at diamond paintings. Okay, so this is without the Tahito light and I'm going to turn it on and that is with the light. So that does help quite a bit. And then again, I can change the light. I can dim it some. I think that does help. So I just wanted to show you this really quickly in case you are interested in this light. You might even could use this if you wanted, for instance, not to have it as a phone because not everybody records. But if you wanted to put this maybe while you're working, you could. there is a little stand that you can also purchase or you can even push this back and do it like this. And they also have another item that you can put on here, screw, that would actually hold it down. So if you wanted to use this for a light pad or if you were working on some symbols, you couldn't really tell what they are, maybe on a mystery kit or the one with the diamond art that has the black and white um, kits for Josephine Wall, that might work as well. So just thought you might be interested in seeing something like that. But just wanted to throw this out at you to let you decide on your own if you would like something like this, if you think that would be helpful to you for your diamond painting or for anything else that you might use. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.